So in this video I'm going to show you how to do a similar thing as in my last video which was how to get the user's name and email address but unlike in the last video we're not going to use one intent and slot filling we're going to create separate intents and use context to connect them. So context is a concept of teaching your chatbot state and we're going to use those contexts to trigger then the next intent. Um, so I'm going to start similarly to my last example with with the welcome intent. So if the user says any of those greetings here we're going to enter a prompt for them to enter their name. Hello, what's your name? Beautiful. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a contact. So you have to open this little menu here. <coughs> and since this is the welcome intent, which is the first intent that we want to be triggered, if the user um, writes a greeting, there's no input context, but we're going to create an output context here, which is going to be a waiting name because we just created a prompt here for the user to enter their name. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new intent, which is going to be get name. Okay, so what I want to get here is the name then. So I'm going to create a new parameter name, set it as required, and I'm going to use the system given name entity again and I'm gonna call it name and we're gonna enter a prompt similar to the last example what's your name so if the user doesn't respond to our first prompt from the welcome intent we can reprompt them using this and then the answer will be thanks and this time we're gonna use the name in the response so thanks whatever the name is what's your email address so we're almost done with this one uh, we have to set the input again so what does what do we expect from the user let's keep it simple let's just enter a name and assign it to the name parameter and then last but not least we need to set the context so now the output context if you remember from the last example was um, oops, something's wrong the output context was a waiting name so that's what we have to enter here and then the welcome intent will set this context and then dialogflow will indirectly trigger this next intent here and then what we want to do after getting the name is we want to get the email so I'm going to create another context which is you guessed it correctly awaiting email okay I think we have everything for this intent so let's move on to the next one and create the get email intent So now we already know how this works. So the input context will be a waiting email. No output context because that's where our interaction will end today. And we expect the we expect an email, so test ex set example. I need to first create the parameter though, email. going to use the system email parameter and name it email and we're going to make this required so now we'll assign this to the email parameter and I'm going to enter my prompt again so now it becomes a little bit more interesting um, we are going to use the name from the last intent uh, what's your email so how to refer to a parameter from the from another intent again we can use the context here so that will be a waiting name because we filled the parameter in that context and we call the parameter name so what's your email 
and then whatever the name is. Cool. So then we're almost done with this one. And we're going to close the interaction by saying, by repeating the name and the email. So, thanks. And then the same thing. The context, the waiting name, dot name. And then we're going to repeat the email address as well. We'll contact you on email. And now I can use the dollar sign because it's part of the same intent. Okay, so let's save this. Agent will have to train for a moment. Okay, I'm gonna just give it a try now. Agent training completed. What's your name? My name is Peter. And now we can see it sets the context to a waiting email. What's your email? It's peter at test.com. Okay, great. Thanks, Peter. We'll contact you on peter at test.com. And we can see that the parameter email was filled during this intent as well. So, great. That's it. I hope this short explanation helped you to understand how to use context to uh, connect several intents.